Uh, sorry to state uh, that Andhra Pradesh, the, because of this uh, recent bifurcation of the state, the vehicular uh, traffic and the vehicular movement, personalized transportation, transport, uh, where two wheelers, four wheelers, personal cars, are the, they, are, they have increased in multifolds. Whereas this uh, buses have uh, not been increased to the expected uh, level. That is why, uh, if you see the Hyderabad, which is one of the I mean, uh, fifth uh, largest uh, city in India. There, uh, even though roads are being widened, uh, it is not uh, to the, the buses, requirement of buses, it is not meeting to the people. Uh, that is one of the major concern. Uh, that uh, as on date in Hyderabad, there are about only 3,000 buses are available for uh, mass transportation, against the requirement of around 6,000 buses. <laughs> Nowadays, the passengers, uh, especially the passengers who prefers the bus, they are almost a middle a mid uh, income group, not a high income group. So the mid income group people naturally they look into uh, economic uh, pricing of the buses. So that is the major uh, this thing, and that all uh, more than that they need uh, uh, courteous behavior from the uh, crew of the bus and uh, the driving habits of the drivers uh, and the, the response from the STUs to the passengers and uh, the, the information that is provided to the passengers from STUs. Uh, these are all matters to attract the passengers towards mass transportation and then uh, at the economical rates that uh, because of the middle class people more prefer uh, corporation and STU buses for mass transportation and uh, after, during the journey also they expect some comfortable uh, journey and uh, trouble free journey, uh, breakdown free journey so all those things they will expect definitely because uh, the, the, the other experiences of the passengers like traveling in autos or traveling in uh, some uh, private uh, jeeps with a uh, lot of with, uh, highly packed and then uh, so these things uh, certainly they uh, create lot of uh, problems whenever accident happen happens so lot of uh, uh, human loss will be there so that is one of the major uh, factor but still people because STUs are not meeting to the uh, public uh, requirements properly still uh, the public are uh, uh, encouraging the private uh, travel that is where uh, the STUs have to realize and then they have to improve upon the passengers' uh, comforts. So, hybrid and electrical buses so far we have not purchased any buses from uh, uh, in our corporation. It is a new invention and we are excited to see the buses here in Tata uh, company. And uh, we have had a trial run also for about 10 to 15 minutes. Absolutely, it is very comfortable as if you are traveling in a car. So that is the level of comfort they are giving. Uh, and uh, this, uh, okay, ultimately uh, a passenger or an STU, ultimately they see the cost of operation and economics of operation. So that is the main stumbling block for uh, introduction of these buses into the corporation. So earlier, way back in 15 years back, when Volvo and uh, Volvo buses are introduced, that time also people thought, because it is uh, some 50 crores, that time it is a 40-50 crores bus, or sorry, 40-50 lakhs bus. So that time also people uh, hesitated to take the buses, but still uh, because uh, the roads have been uh, prepared well, roads have been constructed well, golden quadrilateral has come that time. So uh, naturally these buses have taken uh, uh, they are very uh, operated, uh, fit for the road condition. Uh, so that's why the people have started um, purchasing the Volvo buses. And uh, the um, cost of travel also it is not uh, that much high because people are there, that market segment is there for even Volvo buses also. So generally, naturally people, uh, they, uh, they, they look into the travel, uh, I mean, uh, uh, convenience of travel because uh, if they go for a long distance travel, uh, comfortably this uh, Volvo bus makes them very comfortable instead of their personal car uh, where it is uh, safety. 
safety point of view also traveling in a bus is more safer than traveling in a private uh, personalized mode that's why uh, this um, even though this electrical bus now it is uh, i think uh, i was told that it is costing around 2.5 lakh crores but still uh, the government of india and the uh, local government state governments if they encourage and subsidize in the form of some taxation and all then definitely the stus will be afford to take the buses and then extend a very uh, reliable and comfortable passenger I mean, travel to the passengers so the articulated bus concept is to clear the traffic in a uh, quickest possible time that is the main object of the articulated bus where a lot of uh, I mean public waiting for the buses in at some traffic junctions uh, when articulated bus comes the total area will be cleared so that's why the, the, wherever there is a high density uh, route or high density uh, pockets are there there these articulated buses uh, will be successful and then uh, definitely it will clear the traffic in uh, quickest uh, possible time and uh, they, they have to be operated on a highly density high density routes only then there only it is successful and uh, it will be uh, it should not be a long distance also it is a very short distance and highly uh, high density routes there it is very much essential Uh, in hyderabad we have we are uh, still operating these articulated buses in few routes but because of the uh, this uh, maintenance problems and uh, support that is uh, expected from the uh, manufacturers is not up to the mark that's why uh, this uh, we could not able to increase the fleet even though there is a demand because i, I already told you against uh, the need of 1000 buses uh, 6000 buses we are operating only 3000 buses this articulated buses uh, Uh, almost it is equal to two buses so that's why in potential areas it will be successful so here i am very um, excited to see tata uh, company is uh, looking at the future uh, buses and then definitely they are um, their r&d department also very uh, doing very nice job and uh, could able to listen from them in this morning during their uh, presentation the what is their future plans in getting these uh, uh, futuristic buses to, to the society uh, i really thank uh, tata motors for uh, giving me an opportunity to visit their plant <laughs>